Thanks for coming up, Frank. This is difficult. I know, kid. Remember, be direct and be compassionate. Don't drop the knife until his legs stop twitching. <laughs> I'm not stabbing anyone. Hear him out. There are no bad ideas. <laughs> Look, just don't let him guilt you with those puppy dog eyes and the shoulder rubbing. Ugh. You're right. I mean, the guy still represents boots. I mean, that cat practically prints money. You can't fire me! Hello, Maddie! And company, how's my number one client? Well, not so good. Terrific! Um, who wants coffee? I'll take one. Oh, excellent. There's a car dealership next door. Pretend you're interested, they'll give you a free cup. Come on in. <laughs> so, how's New Jersey treating you? Ducky? I mean, why be in Manhattan when you can look at Manhattan? Was that Boots we saw when we were coming in? Boots is yesterday's litter box. <laughs> and that is great news for you because I've been killing myself trying to juggle the two of you. Well, now it's just you. <laughs> We've done it, darling. We're right on track. <laughs> right. Uh, so, Stanford, um... You know my co-star in the play, Hollis Whimsy? Yes, absolutely. Help me out again. What play are we talking about? The Broadway play that your only client is starring in? Anyway, it seems that Hollis has been getting quite a few auditions lately. Well, who's on television 20 times a day in Lebanon? <laughs> Doing. So anyway, I was thinking that maybe it's time for a change. Yeah, yeah, wait. Now, we're in the middle of some big moves here, darling. Big moves. <laughs> and you want to jump ship? No. I won't allow it. That's a deal breaker for me. Well, it, it, it's nothing personal. I, I just think... You don't have to think, darling. I do the think. Give me to the end of the day to show you what I've been working on. I mean, after all, does 20 years mean nothing to you, Maddie? I took a chance on you when no one else would. <laughs> what do you say? Okay. Ah. Well, I got bad news. I bought a van. 